Section 10 is another of my favorites where Satoshi explains exactly how to keep Bitcoin transactions private using methods that only work if you're using Bitcoin in commerce rather than just buying Bitcoin on exchanges, which innately hands over a user's privacy. He even specifies that a user can keep their keys anonymous. He then extrapolates further that as an additional firewall, a new key pair should be used for each transaction to keep them from being linked to a common owner. Notably, this is something that can only be done if the network has low fees and high transaction volume in order to obfuscate and maintain the privacy of the network as a whole. Satoshi Nakamoto closes the Bitcoin white paper with two simple sentences reinforcing proof of work as the exclusive governance model of Bitcoin. No BIP process, no flag days, no soft forks. In clear, simple terms, he states, they vote with their CPU power, expressing their acceptance of valid blocks by working on extending them and rejecting invalid blocks by refusing to work on them. Any needed rules and incentives can be enforced with this consensus mechanism. And with those two lines, he closes the Bitcoin white paper and gives Bitcoin to the world. So I challenge you, please go read the white paper on this anniversary of the Bitcoin white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Thank you, Satoshi.